Ralph, in 30 seconds, in a nutshell, tell us what we need to watch out for this coming quarter. Thank you, Olivia. Well, it was a very exciting second half of the year. We now have 842 companies in the Crypto Valley totally. There's over 4,400 people now that work in the sector. Uh, you know, total funding for these companies has increased to 4 billion. Uh, and the valuation of the top 50 is, now stands at $25.3 billion. Let me talk about the big name that has entered the Unicorn Club this time, and that's Libra, based in Geneva, the association. Why do you think that they deserve a top spot? So Libra, by its nature, is a very important player. They still have over 20 participants in the association, so they're funded with at least $200 million, according to their information that every member has to pay in $10, $10 million. So, and just by the nature of the backers, you know, it has to be a unicorn in the Crypto Valley. Given all the discussions about the regulation, the hiccups in trying to get it off the ground, do you expect Libra to stay within those top ranks? Well, they uh, certainly have shown no signs of uh, moving out of Switzerland number one and or giving up on getting regulated in Switzerland. So we will see what next year will bring, but uh, we are quite optimistic that they will keep at it. You mentioned right now that we have about 850 blockchain companies across Switzerland and Liechtenstein. But from what I understand, the goal was actually to have closer to 1,000 by, say, this year. Why are we not there yet? Well, you always have to see, I mean, 842 is a quite an impressive number. Keep in mind, this is a startup environment. So there's always companies that die and they go away. So it is uh, very nice to see that overall the number has increased. We were just over 800 uh, in June uh, of last year. Now we are at over 840. Uh, keep in mind also that what has really uh, driven, for example, the presence of companies in Liechtenstein is the passing of the Blockchain Act in Liechtenstein. And I would expect that once the regulatory environment in Switzerland is even better with the passing of the laws that are currently in discussion in Parliament this year, we will see another increase of companies in Switzerland as well. With Liechtenstein and this new Blockchain Act, it's certainly been a more attractive place to think about setting up shop. Are you concerned that maybe Liechtenstein could leapfrog some of the up-and-coming blockchain hubs in Switzerland? Well, obviously, it's great to see that uh, our neighbor uh, country, I would say, uh, you know, increases its presence, uh, has increased presence of these companies. But we, as uh, CVVC and in the report, since the beginning, we have included Liechtenstein as part of the Crypto Valley. So it's really Crypto Valley, is Switzerland and Liechtenstein. Just because Liechtenstein plays an important role in as a stepping stone and access to the European market. Let's talk valuation. Last time we saw the report, it was an astounding number. I say over 40 billion. This time that's hovering more around the 25 mark. What's behind this significant drop? So we have to consider, first of all, there's always a lot of volatility in crypto markets. So at this time, Ethereum dropped um, almost 50% from the valuation it had on June 30th of 2019 to the end of the year uh, in December 2019. So almost all of the drop here in valuation is because of the valuation drop in Ethereum. Now, when you take out Ethereum from the top 50, so when you look at the top 49, if you want uh, so, Currently, they're valued at 10.8 billion. So that's almost the same as they were valued in, uh, in June of last year. And finally, just to finish up, I noticed there was a lot of talk about real estate tokens this time around. What do you think will be the topics that come up and up again throughout 2020? So we're very excited. I think uh, real estate finally will actually see the light in tokenization. So many shared the vision of tokenized real estate, fractional ownership and so to speak, crowdfunding on steroids. And when you look at uh, some of the really interesting projects like Crowdly Token in Liechtenstein, uh, Brickmark, uh, who's headquartered in Zug, or Tezos, who is providing infrastructure for real estate tokenization and securitization in many hotspots in the world with investment banks, I would say that the first half of the year will be quite interesting with respect to what's going on in the real estate sector. Okay, and finally, finally, Ralph, if I could just get you to do a little bit of crystal ball looking, who do you think could potentially be on the radar as the next Swiss blockchain unicorn? So we are quite excited. There are two companies, I would say, that are uh, running in the contention. Number one is, of course, the elephant in the room, Telegram. 
there have been rumors that Telegram is moving to Switzerland. We sure hope so. And uh, the other interesting uh, development, I would say, is uh, MR, who is a big property developer in the Middle East, has issued a utility token in, in Switzerland. Uh, it will go into public sale uh, in the course of the year now, in the beginning of the year. Uh, it's led by Bitcoin Swiss. So let's see what the appetite of the markets are for such a coin. Thank you